When you were younger, I'm sure you remember, you've heard, an apple a day will keep the doctor away. Well, guess what? It's a lot better than that. Apples have very strong antioxidant activity, inhibiting cancer cell proliferation, decreasing lipid oxidation, and lowering cholesterol. And apples contain a variety of phytochemicals, including quercetin, catechin, fluoridzin, and chlorogenic acids, which are all strong antioxidants. It's those polyphenols in apples that reduces oxidative stress on the cells of our mitochondria. It fights free radicals, and it will help your heart, your brain, your arteries, as well as reducing inflammation in your body. And these flavonoids in apples help protect the cells of your pancreas. And that's pretty powerful because your pancreas secretes insulin. And it's so important for glucose to get into the cells of your body. It needs insulin and it will slow digestion down from your stomach into your small intestine, giving you lots of satiety, keeping you full so you won't overeat, nor will you eat those sugary and processed foods. And it doesn't stop there because that pectin, that soluble fiber, are the prebiotics. The prebiotics feed your probiotics in your microbiome. And this will directly affect 75 to 80 percent of your immune system, keeping your immune system strong so you can fight off pathogens, fight off bacteria, fight off viruses, and stay healthy for a long, long time. And a healthy fiber and flavonoids will also protect the lining of your intestines and keep your cells healthy in your colon, helping to prevent colon cancer. And the soluble fiber helps lower your bad cholesterol, your LDLs, your low density lipoproteins, preventing atherosclerosis, placking that goes on in your arteries. So you don't have a heart attack or stroke. And if you're trying to lose weight, you want to include apples in your diet. Remember, it slows digestion down. It gives you satiety. It won't spike up your blood sugar. It lowers insulin levels. What does that mean? That means you're going to start burning more fat. When insulin levels are high, that's when you start to store fat. So here's the bottom line. Start eating your apples. I don't care what diet you're on. Don't neglect the health benefits of what apples can do for your body. Please share this video with your friends and family. Leave your comments below. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.